So, Stefan, today is the 22nd of July 2011 and we're at Cranfield Airport and what have we just done today? We have installed a new prototype of the Cranfield hand control onto the rudder pedals of a Cessna 152 Aerobat. On the left side, pilot seat and because the latches are still lacking the design, we put some G-clamps on it and fastened them with bolts. That's all we did. And what is the aim of today's test? The aim of today's test is to determine some forces during the yeah, ground roll and brake to get some idea for our fatigue analysis. And um, what results are you hoping to get from today's test? That the measured forces we're going to get are way below the maximum forces specified in CS23. And what are those, uh, what are those uh, datum points? The dating point for the normal rudder operations are 298 newtons and for braking should be below 445 newtons. Uh, the difference between this design and the previous design is that we have introduced bigger stiffness on the sides of the pedals to counter the bending of the pedal attachment itself. We still get a significant uh, stress concentration between the stiffener and the yeah, uh, latch. So that's basically what where the, the weak point of the design is. But well, I'm optimistic that's gonna work. And those things that are holding the pedal onto the rudder at the bottom, those are just there for um, today's test. That's not the actual uh, G clamps we're gonna be using. That's correct. Okay, so let's go and fly. Well, let's go and taxi. Let's go and roll. This is a stick measurement, stick force measurement device from the Cranfield test pilots. With this ring, you turn the red gauge to set it back to zero, but turn, turn the red ring back to the other side that we have the full movement. Okay. Right here. Okay. And, and what is, what does this thing measure? Pounds. Pounds? Pounds. Pounds of my... Force. Oh, I can't, I'm too weak. Can't do it. You have to put this away. Ah. So that's 40 pounds. Yeah! I got 40. That's strong. Where do I put that? There? Uh, in the direction you going to apply the force. So, taxi to the west, which is there. Uh, yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> yep. So, we're doing a left turn, correct? So, I'm going to go forward and then go to the left. Okay? Yep. Okay, I don't know if you want to watch down here. Yeah. So, she's about to move. No, so I have control. She's have moving control. nice and gently. Bit of left rudder. Looking right. There we go, tiny bit of left rudder. Okay. So, that was a 90 degrees left. Are we going south now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're down to Cranford Approach, basic service, QNH 107. So, doing a wide turn. Doing a wide turn. There we go. Golf Echo Oscar Foxtrot Sierra, can feel past your message. Uh, Foxtrot Sierra, we're just looking for a transit three row overhead. We've just had to uh, pull around to the And the there is a 180. The, uh, west of your zone, please. You want to measure the force in one of your turns? It's hardly any. Okay. Uh, you have to put it sideways. That's the force up. That's up. So that's full brakes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
Test, okay, as I get closer to that bit. Okay, hand on the throttle. You watching that? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, there goes the gentle braking, gentle braking. Just a bit heavier. <laughs> Do you know what? Hello? The weight the weight of it doesn't actually when it's on there it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother you if it's on it, okay. but looking left, looking right, now. Can we go in there, turn around and do full power? Yeah. The problem with the weight is you are rather forward from the CG position. Hold on a second. Alpha Charlie is just now past the lightning on Echo. Roger. Okay, so... Hey. Right, now look, do you want to hold on to all this? So, look at this, okay? No, 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 not this direction. The other direction. If you go off, you know, we have some space to run out. Tight turn to the left. Can you tell me what exactly you do if you turn left? Okay, so I'm looking left, tiny bit of power, putting the left pedal down, and now just holding it up a tiny bit to make that turn. The higher that I put it, but it's literally millimeters that I'm adjusting this turn. So you're holding the brakes and not only the rudder, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's, we're now lined up. Put it back on to 1000 RPMs. So, now that I'm holding it with my left hand, which is the hand that I would... 
can we set it back to zero? To zero? Yeah, to see the maximum. So what's the maximum you allowed? Out of this range here. It's 150 pounds. Okay, so... Now this aeroplane has no brakes. Parking. Well, it does say parking brake, but let go. No. So... Okay. At a thousand RPM... No, I have it. At a thousand RPM... Let go, so, yeah, let go, so on, you're not I'm cheating. On. So, at a thousand RPM, it's showing me it's 15. Or just under 15. 14? Yes. Can you see that? Yes. So that's at a thousand RPMs. Now to do the power check at 1500 RPM, there's 1500 RPM. Now that's gone up to 16, 16 17. Yeah. At 2000 RPM, there's 2000 RPM. Now that's showing me 20. 18. 18, okay, so that's 18. 2000 RPM. Yep. And that's 2300, 2400, 2400. Close to 19. And we're back to 1000 RPM. Come back to this hand control again. So, this is full right. And look outside. We're turning on a 360 degrees. Right? Yeah. The sh if, if I sharpen up the turn, I just apply more up pressure yeah. for the brakes on okay. the full right rudder, okay? Yeah. That's full 360 with 1600 RPM. Just to show you how tight it can go, yeah? yeah. Okay, and leveling off. Now then, if I did it to the left, if you want to look on the hand control, there's full right rudder, left rudder, and up. Now that's showing you that's a much, that's quite a tight turn to the left. Yeah. It's the window that's making that noise. So there is a the full left turn, and we're going to straighten out. And actually, that's quite a smooth thing. Good. Now, if I stop here, if I just stop now, yeah. and, the, and the pedals are neutral, and I'm at the idling speed, there, literally from there to there, is full brakes. And it doesn't interfere with that on a 152. Hold on. I'm going to take it back out there. But it's just little, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. It, you know, with the other hand controls, it needs a lot of left-right movement to yeah. have a big effect. Whereas this... So you don't have the feeling that anything is bending. I feel more in control with this. Okay. At the moment. At the moment. And the nice thing is I can very quickly move from my left hand to my right hand. There we go, onto the right hand, back to the left hand. Bit of power. So, if, for example, here, we're now lined up, right, there's yeah. full brakes, okay, let go, full power, full power, full power, full power, no, 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 don't worry, I'm don't worry, not, I'm not going. and a board to take off. Okay, you want to do the same thing with measurement? That was quite a smooth a yeah. break. Obviously, I don't want to get to the yeah. takeoff speed, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do the same thing with measuring the force. Okay. And I will tell you, I'll, I will abort at 40 knots, all right? Yes. Because any more, this thing could lift off. Okay, now, you know what? Turning to the right is, you know, the turning things yeah, are really good. Position. Can I just okay. Final? We're lined up on... Roger, continue approach. No, I've got it. Okay. Let go. Okay. Right, I have it. Okay, so at the moment this is idling at a thousand RPM. Okay. Okay. So full that's fifteen hundred RPM, that's seventeen hundred RPM, eighteen hundred RPM, there's two thousand and let go. Full power thirty five knots. 40 knots, there we go, and nice and gently, and we are full stop. Yep. Door was open. 
That's all right. It's clear to land, zero two zero degrees nine knots. We have a maximum of twenty-four. Hold on a second. Golf Alpha Charlie, please maybe uh, taxi back to Cranfield uh, Flying School. Uh, Charlie, taxi Cranfield Flying Service. Cool. Thank you, Alpha Charlie. <laughs> okay. I like. You know what? It's good. It feels apart from the weight. No, but you know the you know the annoying thing about the other one is the stupid hand controls over here. Okay. Yeah. The fact that it's right in the middle gives me complete freedom here. Yeah. With no stupid thing in the way. And the other thing that I like about it, I, I still think this doesn't need to be so big, but we know that. No, we're going to make a round. Right? But I yeah, like yeah. the fact that it's coming up straight to me here. And I don't know why, but I feel like I've got more control. I guess it's... The other one, you know when you attach it, it's all a bit loose. And yeah. you don't quite... Yeah, whereas this, I just know... For example, in the back of my heart, in my in the back of my mind, with the other hand control, I'm always wondering when I let go, I have to. Where is it going to go on my knee? Yeah. Where's this? If I let go, it's, it's just right exactly there. where it's supposed to be. So I've got quick access back to it. So Foxtrot Mike has the same pedals, right? No, Foxtrot Lima. Foxtrot, that one. 